Here we have a short video on how to take one of our kinematic equations and solve it for a different variable. This is something common we have to do. In this video, we're going to be solving this kinematic equation for the variable a. When I do this, I like to start off by circling the variable we're solving for, as well as the entire term that that variable is contained within. In this case, all these terms, or all these variables and numbers being multiplied, they make up one term. Let's clear everything else from that side of the equation. In this case, we have this vi squared we need to get rid of. It's a positive number. It's being added to this other stuff. So to get rid of it, we have to subtract it away. The whole thing, the whole vi squared. Whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other. vi oop, squared. As you can see on the right side, we have vi squared minus vi squared. These cancel out and go to zero. And what we're left with is vf squared minus vi squared equals everything that's left in this bubble. 2 times a times delta x. Continuing on, switching colors so it's easy to see, we still have to get the a by itself and it's being multiplied by two things. In this case, to get rid of them, so the a is by itself, we have to divide them away. And we can do this in one step. We divide by the 2, as well as divide by the delta x. You'll see these will cancel. We'll do that shortly. But first of all, whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other. Okay. Like I said, the 2's cancel, the delta x cancels, all we're left with here on the right is the acceleration, or A. And on the left, everything's fine the way it is. Vf squared minus Vi squared all over 2 delta x. And there we have it. Our kinematics equation, which we start out with, is now solved for the variable A.